Greetings from the sub ether. This is Alan with another quick color basic video this time talking about some of the things I've discovered color basic doesn't do quite like I expected. One of the things that I worked on a few years ago was translating extended basics play command into the C language so it would run on an Arduino for a project where you'd hook up this box to the color computers serial port and you could send play commands to it and it would play music independently while basic did other things when i was going through the code for the play command i noticed something interesting with how microsoft implemented it let's take a quick look at uh what a piano keyboard looks like you're going to notice there's white keys and black keys if you don't play piano well these are your regular keys and the black keys are your sharps and flats so there's a c and a C sharp, a D and a D sharp. But there's no black key, so there's no such thing as an E sharp or an F flat. Likewise, you can also do D flat and E flat. So basic lets you play C or C sharp, D, D sharp. It also lets you play C, D flat, D, E flat. So a C sharp is the same as a D flat, but there's no such thing as an E sharp or an F flat. But basic lets you play, let's see which one, E sharp, which is the same as an F. But there is no such thing as an F flat. Oh wait, there is, hold on. E and F flat. There it is. Okay, so if you look at the keyboard, there is no such thing as an E sharp or an F flat, but in basic you can actually play them. But when it comes to the B, there's a B and a C, and that's where the octave changes. Since it's right at the end, you cannot do a B sharp. And I don't believe you can do a C, you can do a C, can't do a C flat either. So because of where E and F are, in the middle of the notes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it allows you to do an E sharp and an F flat, which are not actually standard notes. So that was something I found. They just didn't do an extra check. And the only reason B and C reject is because those were at the end and the check actually works for those. So that was one thing I found. Another thing I saw was I was trying to do some data statements. Uh, with data, you can have a line like data, this, data is 110 data a 130 data test and you can use the read statement if I say read a string I think that even works if I do it in basic print a string it gives me the first one read a string gives me the second one read a string sorry third one fourth one and if I try to read anymore I get the out of data error so I could do something like for I equals one to four read a string print a string with a space after it next and 10 20 end there you go and I was doing an experiment and I noticed that when I did this, I put something after the data statement, like a rim, first word. And then I ran it. I didn't get what I expected. Uh, the basic data parser is not correct. It actually parses past the quote. So if you just had data, hello, you can read a string, print a string. But if you tried to do something with a colon, whoops. Well, that's invalid because it does see the colon. So it does parse the colon. If that wasn't there and there was a space, that's fine because it will correctly say, oh, this is a string. So if you want to use a colon, you could say hello colon there. 
see no error, read a string, print a string. It's there. But the moment you put a colon at the end, even if you wanted to put another data statement, read a string, print a string. So that one works. It's okay with data. Let's see if it gets the next one. Read a string, a string. Ah, there we go again. So it looks like it worked on the first one, but that colon is confusing it. And data is coming back as uh, part of the string. It's probably whatever that graphic block is, is probably the number of the token for data in basic. So just something really strange. If you're trying to use data statements, you can't put anything after them, including more data statements. So it pretty much has to be this comma is comma a comma test and that should work read a string print a string that's gonna work fine but the moment you put a colon at the end of a data statement it's gonna mess up the uh, read so that's two little things about the color basic parser that I've personally run into the first one when I was looking at the 6809 listing in color basic unraveled that book that they disassembled it and comment everything and then tell you how it works. And the second time was something that I ran into actually trying to use it. I don't remember ever seeing this back in the 80s, but that's the short video for tonight. Just two little quirks in Color Basic that I stumbled into. Until next time, don't panic.